Over the years, the Nigerian military has recorded tremendous success in the fights against Boko Haram terrorist group, bandits, and Islamic State of West African province in the northern part of the country. This battle was also extended to the southern part of Nigeria to curb the activities of kidnappers, oil bunkers, and other forms of heinous crimes and insecurity. One man that worked tirelessly behind the scene to ensure that the military's image was protected in spite of all odds is the former army spokesman, retired Brigadier General Sani Kukashi Kawusman. Addressing newsmen after being conferred with an award of excellence by the Coalition of Online Media Association of Nigeria, Koman, General Usman said the military only recently killed the Boko Haram governor of the Lake Chad region. It was barely a few hours ago, they were able to kill the Boko Haram terrorist governor of the Lake Chad region. And the Nigerian military, you have one of the best military you can ever think in this world because we are privileged to have worked, attended courses, seminars and events and visited other armed forces. We might not be that equipped or sophisticated, but given the circumstances, we are doing marvelously well and it calls for commendation understanding from all and sundry so that they can do better. He also took out time to commend officers and men of the military for their sacrifice in ensuring that peace returns to the country. And I would like to dedicate this award to the officers and soldiers of the Nigerian army without whom I couldn't have been what I am right now and was even when I was in service because was their selflessness, dedication to duty that made me to be so happy and proud to manage their image and be the spokesman to the point that I had to leave the service in February 2019. And to the glory of God, they are doing marvelously well. Brigadier General S.K. Usman backed the Command Award for his outstanding performance as a Patriot security expert and a defender of the nation's sovereignty from internal and external aggression. Fred Idehai, CNN News.